Hello friends, I am Miss Carmen from the Pflugerville Public Library. I am the Children's Services Coordinator there. I want to welcome you to our crafty program for kids 5 to 8, Kids Club. Today we will be making drawings with our hands. And you will find out that you can make many animals doing that, depending on how you position your hand on the paper. You can make something like a snail a duck or a bunny. Let's get started. So let's go over the materials that we need to make these drawings. You need some copy paper. I use copy paper to make mine. Some paints, pencil, a sharpie for the outlines, and a brush. The first drawing that I'm going to teach you how to do is the easiest one, and this is a bunny. To make the bunny, you put your hand like this, palm up, and you kind of, you're going to trace it, okay? So, if you leave your thumb like this, then it already gives you one cheek of the, one cheek of the bunny and it's easier just to trace the other one so let's get started you're gonna trace it like this I have a hard time keeping my fingers separated but if you can do it at once you do it or if not you trace two fingers first and then the other two so you will come up with a an outline that looks more like like this then we will add the details so you already have this part and you will add the ears and the rest of the face. That's right. For the nose, I actually do that for a triangle and then just trace, you know, just join them and that's the nose. Add whiskers, eyes, and a mouth. I mean, this doesn't look really as nice as it could be, but that's what the eraser is for. Much better, huh? Very well. Then I use my Sharpie to make the outline, all of the outline, and a little bit of pink paint for these. You can use crayons or markers if that's what you have. The second drawing that we're going to make is a dog. For the dog, I almost forgot how to position my hand. See how it is positioned? It's kind of a fist, but you're going to leave your index and your thumb separated. And you trace your hand again. Like that. And then you add some detail. Okay? I guess I have two of those. The first one is the beak, and then you can add the eye. That looks like an angry dog, but the one I color doesn't. And the last drawing that I'm going to show you how to do is a snail. This is a fun one. So you will have your hand as a fist and separate the thumb but when you trace it this time you're going to leave room between your fingers you know and the top or maybe you can just open your whole hand and do it like that yeah that works too and then we're going to add some detail that's right that's the buddy join it here and for the shell, it's like a spiral. And the last step, oh, about the antenna too, the eyes. And then you use some 
paint to finish it. Please take pictures of the drawings that you make and send them to me. I would love to see them. Send them to carmenl at pflugervilletx.gov. Thank you, guys. I hope you guys had fun. And please take pictures of your drawings and send them to me. Who would have thought, huh? This has been very helpful to me, I have to tell you. I am super challenged when it comes to drawing. Even stick figures challenge me. There is something that you didn't know about me. Well, it's been an honor to be in your homes. This is our last Kids Club of this summer. Please stay tuned. Log into our website regularly. The fall programs will be posted soon. We will make some changes, but they will be also very fun. Enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye, guys.